Imagine this. The world's most advanced stealth fighter, meant to be invisible to radar, suddenly shows up on an Indian civilian runway. Not during war, not during a mission, but on a rainy June night in Kerala. What happened to the British F-35B in India? Was it just low fuel or something far bigger? Let's dive deep into one of the most mysterious and underreported defense incidents of 2025. Let's begin. On June 14th, 2025, a British F-35B Lightning II took off from the HMS Prince of Wales aircraft carrier, participating in naval drills with the Indian Navy in the Arabian Sea. Within 30 minutes, the pilot declared a Squawk 7700, Aviation's Universal Emergency Code. The reason? Suspected fuel shortage and hydraulic issues. At 9.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time, the stealth jet made an emergency landing at Tiruvananthapuram International Airport. Within hours, British technicians and a replacement pilot flew in. But here's the twist. Days passed, and the jet remained grounded. No major official press briefing, no global headlines, just silence. In an official statement, the British High Commission confirmed, a UK F-35B aircraft is awaiting repairs at the Thiruvananthapuram International Airport after developing an engineering issue. The UK has accepted an offer to move the aircraft to the MRO facility at the airport. The jet will be moved to a hangar once UK engineers arrive with specialist equipment. They added, ground teams continue to work closely with Indian authorities to ensure safety and security precautions are observed. We thank the Indian authorities and Thiruvananthapuram International Airport for their continued support. So, the world's most secretive jet is now officially in Indian hangars. That alone is historic. F-35Bs are built for expeditionary warfare. They have mid-air refueling capabilities. A Royal Air Force logistics manual even mandates layered tanker support for every such sortie. So, where were the tankers? Why wasn't the aircraft redirected to Diego Garcia, NATO's closest base? Military trackers noticed no aerial refueling activity in the area. The reality? The fuel issue was likely the tip of the iceberg, hidden behind it, hydraulic failures and system malfunctions. F-35 stealth aircraft aren't always stealthy. During peacetime or exercises, they fly with Lundberg lenses, radar reflectors that make them visible to air traffic control. Yes. India did detect and classify the F-35B, but not through some magical radar system that cracked stealth. The aircraft was flying in a visible configuration for safety and coordination. Still, India's IACCS system tracked it efficiently, showcasing India's growing command and control capabilities. Photos of the grounded aircraft revealed training missiles, ASRAMs with blue and pink stripes. Blue means inert. Pink indicates live seekers, but no warheads. This confirms the jet was on a joint exercise, not a combat mission. But the deeper question remains, why did it fail? From forums to defense circles, theories exploded online. Theory number one, engine or hydraulic failure. Highly plausible. F-35Bs have a history of turbine issues, particularly under marine humidity and high operational loads. A mid-flight fault involving the Rolls-Royce lift fan or Pratt and Whitney engine could explain the sudden diversion, especially if hydraulics were also compromised. Theory number two, a stealth radar test by UK India, possibly. Some suggest it was an intentional move to test India's radar detection infrastructure, potentially under a classified cooperative protocol. While speculative, such tests are not unprecedented in allied military diplomacy especially amid shared Indo-UK drills. Theory number three, secret ISR mission near Iran or Pakistan gone wrong, unlikely but suspicious. Fringe theories allege it was engaged in covert ISR missions near Iran or Pakistan and was forced to divert after detection or technical sabotage. While no hard evidence supports this, its unusual path over regional hotspots fuels suspicion. Theory number four, a quiet trust test between India and NATO. Very likely. 
The timing overlaps with growing Indo-UK defense cooperation, including joint carrier operations and potential jet engine collaboration. Was this a quiet nod to India's inclusion in higher-tier NATO-aligned tech networks? Theory number five, carrier launch abort, operationally. The most grounded theory suggests the aircraft launched from HMS Prince of Wales, but could not recover due to sea state or deck malfunction, prompting a last-minute emergency reroute to the nearest secure landing zone. The truth? Somewhere in between. The real story may never be officially confirmed. In the absence of transparent disclosures, even the most rational minds begin connecting dots that may not exist. The F-35B is routinely deployed aboard British aircraft carriers such as HMS Queen Elizabeth or HMS Prince of Wales, both of which have operated in the Arabian Sea and Gulf of Oman during recent Indo-UK naval drills. If the jet had just completed an intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance mission over contested airspace, its diversion path toward Kerala becomes geopolitically significant. India's role in this equation is evolving. Once a neutral observer, it now stands as a strategically positioned, technology-trusted partner within emerging Western-aligned maritime frameworks, hosting a fifth-gen jet, even in emergency signals, not just trust, but operational integration. Crucially, the United States maintains end-to-end -end telemetry control over all F-35s globally. The jet's every movement, failure, and reroute would have been known to U.S. systems in real time. Their public silence may imply coordination or quiet consent. Neither Iran nor Pakistan issued formal diplomatic or military statements. Yet, if the F-35B had been monitoring regional signals intelligence or airspace, the implications for security calculus in West Asia are enormous. In that context, this was not just a reroute. It was a momentary crossing of classified domains a rare glimpse into the shadow theater of allied operations across the Indo-Pacific and Middle East corridors. Despite the drama, BBC, CNN, and Reuters barely covered the event. Why? Strategic diplomacy, operational secrecy, and narrative control by Western defense lobbies. Even minor F-35 incidents, like canopy cracks or bird strikes, have made global news. And this begs the question, what if this wasn't an F-35B? but another nation's fighter jet, like an Indian, Chinese, or Russian one, would the same global media have remained silent? In contrast, when a fifth-generation NATO-aligned jet, loaded with sensitive tech, is stranded on Indian soil under mysterious conditions, there is near-total silence. This disparity reflects not just editorial caution, but a deeper imbalance in the global narrative ecosystem. It underscores why developing nations continue to push for strategic communication parity, especially in the defense and aerospace domains. Moreover, this is not the first incident involving the F-35. Since 2014, nearly every year has seen at least one crash or critical issue involving the aircraft, with some years, such as 2022, witnessing up to four incidents. Even in January 2025, a notable crash occurred. When one analyses these events closely, it's evident that the F-35B variant, the same model grounded in Kerala, features in a disproportionate number of these failures. Its short takeoff and vertical landing capability, while impressive, adds significant complexity and maintenance burden. While some argue that accidents are inevitable with widely deployed platforms, the F-35's record contrasts sharply with legacy jets like the F-16 or F-15, which have larger global fleets but far fewer high-profile technical failures. Even the F-22, another stealth jet operational since 2005, has avoided such a persistent string of incidents. Even the U.S. military is scaling back F-35 purchases. So what really happened over Kerala skies? A simple malfunction? A test of alliances? or a moment where the mask of stealth briefly slipped off. What happens next, whether the jet flies out, is shipped home, or quietly disappears from public view, will shape more than just aviation headlines. It might shape future defense alignments. The F-35B, once a poster child of aerospace innovation, faced the uncomfortable spotlight of reliability and maintainability concerns. 
This incident highlighted the critical importance of logistical precision in global operations and revealed that cutting-edge platforms are ultimately constrained by their most fragile components, whether a fuel sensor malfunction or a mid-air software fault. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep-dive defense content. And tell us in the comments, was this just a glitch in the matrix or a preview of a new world order?